Hey Jazz Heads, so I've just had a new delivery. Um, I've ordered myself a Joe Ralph uh, bucket mute. I already have the bubble, the bubble Harmon, uh, which I've been playing about a year and I really enjoy. Um, so I've never played one of these before and I've heard they've got a bit of an individual sound, which is something I think perhaps I might be able to use in a small band setting, in a jazz setting. I used to have one of the old um, red, red and white ones, Humes and Berg uh, buckets, which are the ones still sort of standard used in swing band playing, but I haven't played in a regular swing band since I was about 18. The pro bands I've been, when I go and do big band gigs, we don't very often write for buckets. And when we get them, we either do them on the flute or we play in the stand. Um, this particular model, but from what I've read online, uh, hasn't pleased some people uh, who are used to the, the old style ones that clip onto the bell because uh, it doesn't match very well, which to me suggests it might have a bit of a unique sound, which is kind of what I'm looking for. So I thought it'd be a cool idea. I'll, um, I'll get it open. I've never played one of these before and I'll play it for you and I'll have a, do a little product test. Um, and if anyone out there is thinking of getting one, then maybe this might be of help. So this just got here uh, this afternoon. So I'm really excited to get into this. Um, it wasn't overly expensive, it cost me about £50, um, and it only took, didn't take too long to get delivered, which is pretty good. Unusual sort of well packed, very well packed. A little bit of colouring in as well to do. So, here we go, Joe Rail Bucket Mute. Nice box. Going pretty well packed. I'm going to keep the box. Box is always useful. Recycling. So, it's an aluminium bodied mute uh, with corks up here. Uh, quite uniquely for bucket mutes, uh, this just goes into the bell like a regular mute. Sometimes they strap onto the onto the bell and this is the issue some people have is that they, the plastic and the, the old metal hooks used to strap onto the bell. A, they take, you can't do a quick mute change with them and they do get some scratches on the bell. So this one plugging in is really good uh, and also it's applicable to all bell sizes. So I've got two different horns that have different bell flares and different sizes of bells but with the plug in one it's uh, not an issue. Now this the thing with the bucket is as you can just about see, there's some holes going around here, uh, and they're stuffed with wool, or fibre wool uh, in this case, I think. Um, and that's what gives it the soft sound when we blow in there into the wool and our sound comes out. Um, so yeah, it looks really, really smart. It really looks smart, that aluminium, and it's really light. It's not heavy at all. Um, let's give it a whirl. Just on my jazz horn. Um, so my open sound. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna plug it in. Oh yeah, it's nice down low.
Yeah! Love it. When you really push it in the bucket, we get this really nice, uh, kind of a zingy metallic sound from this. Really contained as well. You can really hear it kind of resonating around. You feel, you can feel the sound stopping here and coming back at you as well. Um, it sounds really nice. I really like it. Oh, down low is good. Yeah, really down low. You can hear it. Have a listen to this. Down low. Yeah, really nice sound down low. Again, we get that really full sound. Sounding great. This is going to be a lot of fun. I had this in mind for a composition I've just done uh, called 2.25am. And I'm definitely going to use it on that. I think when I use it in my new band, the Septet, it's going to sound really nice. Uh, with the combination of instruments, so the front line we've got four horns, so I think this and saxes is going to sound nice, even with maybe even with bass clarinets and things like that. The bucket's going to sound great, and tell you what, it is really stable as well. If you can't feel the weight at all, I've got a heavy horn, and so you cannot feel any weight from this at all. So that's the Joe Rail bucket. I think that's going to make a difference. I really like that. <laughs>